Hi everybody, um, for today's project we're going to be doing a bit of mixed media. Um, I'm going to be doing this frame. I'm going to do it port landscape. Um, and I've got, uh, I'm going to be using Imagination Craft products. So I've got one of these Magic Cuts, this um, beautiful flourish. And um, I've got these butterflies, so it's going to be kind of like a butterfly themed one. So I've got that. And um, I'm going to be using this rice paper, which is really pretty. I kind of like the flowers on it. And um, I'm going to be using other pro products as well. Um, Div Starlights, uh, Alchemy Wax, um, Gesso, obviously. And um, turn it overhead and we'll make a start. Okay, so I've actually given the, the frame a coat, one coat of gesso. And this is going to go on there. I'm going to do some stenciling and that. So that is, um, that's going to go on there. But first I want to add some stenciling and I've got this beautiful stencil and I want to put this in two of the corners and I'm going to use my Imagination Craft Structure Paste for this. So I'm going to do this first. Is my for my oh, can't see for looking so I'm just going to add some of the structure paste onto here this off and put it into my pot. Um, just take that bit off around the lid so it doesn't go back in because there's a piece that's gone back in that's hard. And just take that out so it doesn't contaminate the rest of my pot. Right, just going to pop that to one side. As you can see, I've just done it in two two areas. Just pop that up there out the way. And then I'm going to bring in this, and I've give, actually given this two coats of the uh, gesso because uh, I just felt it needed it. Um, I'm going to use um, the fabric glue, but I need to sort out how this is going to work I'll tell you what I'll do I'll put that over there like that just pop it on I think for easiness what I'm going to do is just draw around it and then I can cut it then There we go. I'll just get my scissors and cut it out. While I cut this out, I'll uh, fast forward and play some music. So that's 
put now the nice flowers and I'm just going to use my fabric decoupage glue and just shake it oh oops that come on quite uh, strong Now I'm going to pop it on here. And then just from the middle sweep it out. Okay, so that's that done. What I want to do now is just give it a quick blast with the heat gun just to dry it, make sure it's dry because I want to do a bit of stenciling on it. <coughs> okay, so for my next, um, I'm going to add a bit of stenciling and I'm going to add. I'm going to add this and I'm using the um, Starlight Wax on a sponge. So I need to get some off here. Some on a stamping block. Add some of the writing, just do circular motion. I think I might add that as well. Let's see, that looks, oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Quite pleased with that. don't want much on here to be fair I, I, I just want a, a quick simple project that is easy to do you can see the the glitter the shine on it as well when you tip it you tip it then you see it I'm not sure if you can um, so I'm going to bring, pop that to one side now and I'm just going to bring this in and I'm just going to dry it with the heat gun. There we are. 
so I'm going to colour the frame with antique pink because I want I'm going to stay with pinks and blacks and I've got this sweet butterfly which I'm going to add on at the end and I have the butterfly there um, but I need to go around the edges of the butterfly with black so that that's the plan that is the plan just a quick simple frame um, this is going to be one of my giveaways uh, my random act of kindness um, giveaways so uh, get rid of that some of this on here and I'm going to as you can see I'm not kind of doing that out because I want a good coverage and um, so I'm just pouncing I'll just do this bit and then while I've colour the rest paint the rest of it I will fast forward and play some music but I just want to do to see how I pounced and so can you see isn't it? And that sheen, nice shabby cheeky effect. So um, I'm going to continue on and I'll play some music. just need to wait for that to dry now because then I'm going to dry brush some black um, alchemy wax on it so while that is doing while that's drying put that out the way, I'm going to get a black pen and my butterfly and I'm just going to go around the edge of my butterfly with the, my distress marker black soot being careful around the antennae you know I don't like the white bits on there uh, any of them that I've cut out so um, I like to go around the edges 
and in a way it just makes it pop a bit. This is um, one of, from one of the butterfly rice papers and all I've done is just um, mat and laid, uh, well I've layered it onto a piece of white copy paper just so I can um, get some dimension with it and it can stand proud on the, um, on the painting. See it looks much better and it will it'll go on there like that but I'll put that on at the end because what I want to do with that now is I'm going to give it a quick spritz with some gold I've got some uh, gold uh, what have I got gold starlight and I'm just going to give it a quick spritz Need some water in it. I find it easier to do from this into a pot like that than using uh, the tap because you usually flood it. Oops, that wasn't clever, Linda. That's better. Yeah, can you see? If I tilt it, you can just see. So I'm going to do the same for my butterfly. Just pop that there like that. Do the same for my butterfly. I'll leave them to dry for now. to do now is just give this a quick real quick blast with the heat gun make sure it's all dry and then I can dry brush with my um, my black wax okay so now I'm going to put some of this alchemy wax onto Just going to go around the edges. Using my finger, I'm just going to go around the edges of the um, of the frame. So I'll uh, I'll play some music while I go around the edges. Now that looks quite antique with the the colour here. I've darkened it a bit down here just to give it that oldie worldy look. Um, I'll put that in water and um, I would recommend as well um, you always clean your brushes after you've used alchemy wax um, and they do clean and um, the majority of waxes um, 
whether it be Inca Gold, uh, the Starlight uh, waxes, um, I can't think of any other waxes, uh, PBO, if you wash your brush and warm, warm soapy water they should be fine. So I've never had any problems um, dry brushing with them so um, I just thought I'd mention that just in case you were wondering. Um, so what I want to do with this now, whoops, I am just going to give it a, a quick spritz with the gold. And I quite like how it's just settled, just give it that faint gildy, gilding look. Um, so I quickly give this a blast and then I, I'm just a case of them putting it together. Right, let's just put this together now. And I will finish off the back of this but not on camera, I will paint it so there we go there we go that looks super cool and I just want to add add my butterfly and I'm just going to pop it there so I'm going to use some of this glue. There we are. So that's um, my butterfly frame done. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I've enjoyed making it. And um, please leave a comment, like, share. And until next time, everybody, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.